Hello, and welcome to Oathbreaking News, your Oathbreaker news source, brought to you by the Signature Spell Bomb. In this episode, we will be covering the June 1st, 2020 banned and restricted announcement that will affect the standard and historic formats. This announcement will also address the updated rules for the companion mechanic. We will look at how these changes will affect our Magic the Gathering community and the game in general. Just a quick reminder, if you like what we do, then you can help us out by like, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. In the June 1st, 2020 Banned and Restricted Announcement article posted by Ian Duke at WOTC, he outlined the company's rules changes and the bans that will go into effect on the following dates. Tabletop will be June 1st. Arena will be June 4th. Magic Online will be June 1st. And the Magic Online Companions update will be June 3rd, 2020. One can assume that these dates are affected by how long it may take coding to update how the cards work in the particular game playing formats and programs. The following cards are now banned in Standard and are suspended in the Historic format. Agent of Treachery and Fires of Invention. Concerning the Standard banning for Fires of Invention, Ian had the following to say in his article. Fires of Invention decks have risen to a dominant win rate and the metagame presence in standard. This indicates that the metagame forces alone aren't sufficient to keep the deck in check. They also stated that when testing future sets, Fires of Invention proved to be difficult when concerning designing and balance. As is often the case with cards that have an effect that allow players to cheat on mana cost, it's hard to build around. Ian said the following in his article, Fires of Invention decks would continue to gain power as new high mana cost spells are added to the environment. As new sets would be released, we would see win rates of Fire of Invention decks increased compared to the past standard metagame environments. Due to these factors, Fires of Invention is now banned in standard. When choosing to ban Agent of Treachery, the article had the following to say. We've seen a rise in archetypes that use either Luca, Coppercoat Outcast, or Winota, Joiner of Forces, to put Agent of Treachery directly into play. Surely, having Agent of Treachery dropped on your face early leads to some feel-bads, as your opponent steals a land setting you back a turn or a key piece defanging your strategy in one decisive blow. But having seen Rhinota get banned in Brawl a few weeks back, I wonder if this card is just one of those examples of Watsi banning their way around the problem. That's just my opinion. And as far as the historic format suspending of those cards, he heavily cited the same reasons that he had stated in the standard banning. As both cards are causing problems with high win rates and very few answers in the current standard and historic meta, this makes sense. I don't believe that any act need to be taken to account for these cards in Oathbreakers. We have a much larger card pool of answers with an even much larger shifting meta. Now on to our top story, let's address the new companion rule. The new rule now reads, Once per game, anytime you could cast a sorcery, during your main phase when the stack is empty, you can pay three generic mana to put your companion from your sideboard into your hand. This is a special action, not an activated ability. It happens immediately and can't be responded to. It can't be countered or stopped by cards like Phyrexian Revoker or Pithing Needle. Ian Duke stated in his article that while magic rules changes aren't normally a part of the banned and restricted list update, in this case we introduced a change to the companion mechanic that is motivated by game balance and metagame share across play environments. Stating that the reason for making such a change was based on the health of the meta, play rates of companions, and player feedback. I appreciate hearing that player feedback was taken into consideration before making this change to the rules, as this change will affect every format in which the companion rule is applicable. They went on to say, Decks using companions have too high of win rates and metagame share in Standard and Pioneer and Modern and have already necessitated bans in Legacy and Vintage. This trend represents a long-term problem for the health and diversity of all formats. Rather than go down the path of making several individual adjustments to ban list for each format, we feel the better solution is to reduce the advantage gain from using a companion across the board. By changing the rule instead of 
banning companions, they believe that this will allow for interesting deck construction while lowering the ubiquity of companions in the meta and providing a larger window for interaction. However, on a quick aside about the companion mechanic, it has been pointed out on Twitter and reposted that they knew a mechanic like companions would be a problem based on a quote from a Constraints and Defaults article posted by Mark Wosewater in his Making Magic on July 15th of 2019, in which Mark stated the following. In Tempest Design, I designed a mechanic where you could choose to start with a card that had the mechanic in your opening hand but you drew one less card. All cards with this mechanic were costed to be a bit below the normal power level of a similar card. It only took one playtest to see the problem. Even at a lower power level, you often wanted to guarantee of getting a certain kind of card. Having it always be in your opening hand just made the gameplay the same every time. Without realizing it, I had broken a constraint that the card draw needed to be random, and that it was obvious right away I was breaking a rule that shouldn't be broken. I will post a link to this article by Mark Rosewater in the description. While I agree as an arena player based on the above article that the addition of a companion mechanic seems like a preventable mistake, it is hard for me as an Oathbreaker and Commander player to throw shade when 80% of the magic games I play, I am playing a format where the existence of the command zone fundamentally breaks this rule. So I will leave the decision to you. If you want to read the Ban and Restricted article yourself, I will have a link in the description. Now that we have provided you with our opinion, Give us your thoughts. We want to hear what you think about this episode and of the channel in the comments below. If you enjoy the video and you want to support the channel, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And hit the bell to turn on notifications so you can see when our next news update comes out. We have merchandise. If you want to show your support, please check out the link in the description. And please check out our new Mother of All Planeswalkers merchandise based on our Jaya Ballard deck tech on the other side of the channel. If you want to support this channel directly, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash signature spell bomb. Again, a huge thanks to my viewers. I can't do this without you, and I wouldn't. Thanks again, and I hope I don't see you in the headlines.